Hello, my people. Welcome back to Critics News with more updates. In case you don't know me, I'm good man, the Kurikuwun of Africa and diaspora. Don't forget that anywhere you walk and enter, they let you know <laughs> that things are easier. Tell them that is just a lie. You understand? Uh -huh. So let's go straight to the reason why we are here. In case you have not followed us on the social media handles, we are all in, we are on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this video because if you are just watching, just click that finger like this. Pam. Uh -huh. It will help us to stay afloat. Okay, what? Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Let's go straight to the reason why we are here. And the information reaching us says that um, the Biafra National Biafra National um, no <laughs> oh God Biafra National Guard and Biafra Nations League. Now they confuse me. Uh, I beg, I beg, I beg. In fact, let me make it uh, clear here. Now you can see it. This is uh, coming from Biafra Nations League, which is a BNL. Federal government of Buari gets January 23rd, 2022, ultimatum to free Biafra detainees, including Maze Namdekano. I don't know whether you guys can see this. This is a very serious. Um, and uh, some of you who doesn't know what I'm talking about, this is the people that have been calling us to help um, in donating some money to. So I beg. You guys know that uh, people have been coming out to give empty threat, all those uh, Ikumeku, all those uh, Mukemu, all those uh, our people who have been coming out. It doesn't really matter. No problem. But this ultimatum, January, 23rd next year january 23rd i told you people i beg make i even put them again oh now our people i just don't know how god made this thing some people just want to enjoy this life when they don't work on it finish biafra bnl at gmail.com bikono bikono we need support here bikono we need support here this ultimatum must be kept Biafra BNL at gmail.com. They have given ultimatum that on 23rd of January next year, if they don't release all those our brothers they have kidnapped, that while I go bust, and are the details, plus they sit at home that our um, Omar Adadem have put from America, they say sit at home now, go day. Saturday, no, Sunday, Monday. Sunday, Monday, uh -huh. say sit at home day. So, Mona, I beg had her. It's very important. And here, they say that about 3,017, I be how many IPOB members? 3,071 3, IPOB members and others, Boko Haram, have been killed in 12 months. That is in one year. That is how they are killing our people. That is the one they could bring. Go. I'm not talking about the ones uh, in reality. A pass like that. So let's quickly look at uh, this information here and see what. Um, now, federal government gets January 23rd, 2022, ultimatum to free Biafran detainees. I say, okay, don't read. The Biafra Nations League, BNL. Biafra Nations League, BNL, which is. This one that I've been calling on every one of us to help in donating something. Some of us don't no want. On the way, it may will come on our houses, come they need and they tell on Amuna, help us in donating. Some people are even tagging me as a botua. Say, on our money, I want to eat. Now nah, they're fine. All right, thank you. The Biafra Nations League, BNL, has given the federal government uh, of uh, failed Buari. Up to January 23rd, 2022, to free all Biafran detainees, especially the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mr. Nam de Kano, and the leader of the Biafra Zionist uh, Federation, BZF, Mr. Benjamin Onwoka. <laughs> the group who said many detained Biafran leaders were in detention without trial. In a statement after BNL's executive meeting in Bakasi Peninsula, Cross River State, yesterday, now they have been able to hold a successful meeting. But I think I'm going to also narrate this issue on a live broadcast so you people will 
uh, chook mouth put inside the matter. So they have had a, a meeting. Now, the, the previous meeting, uh, you know, I think uh, they were shot, um, but nobody was wounded. We thank God for that. They were dispersed by the Nigerian army. Now, they said they had a meeting across River State yesterday. The deputy leader of the group, Ebuta Akota said, BNL leaders were in closed-door discussion with commanders of our self-defense volunteers last night and warned that it would not be easy for Nigeria in 2022. I beg, let me stay remind you, please, help us donate money to this PayPal account, biafrabnl.gmail.com. biafrabnl.gmail.com, please. It's important. I know what I'm saying. Let me repeat. They say that it would not be easy for Nigeria in 2022, as what happened this year would be small compared to next year. BNL is preparing its ground, and all our volunteers of our self-defense wing, we apply force in executing any action, any action that will affect the economy of the Nigerian state, especially at Cameroon borders and at sea. The BNL will not tolerate any form of intimidation by the government of its Cameroonian counterpart, which on the other side of our zone, uh, um, okay, which on the other side of our zone, attacked our boys in the peninsula without any reason whatsoever justifying their actions. Both governments are creating another insurgency by inflicting pains on our people and attacking our group. Our boys operate up to Gabon through the sea and are attack tagged pirate. It won't be difficult to launch counter-attacks directly on Cameroonian territory. The independence of Biafra is sacrosanct, and there is no going back. This is the statement coming from the Biafra Nations League. I still want to use the same opportunity again to appeal to us, Bikono. If you have anything that you can do, please donate. I know say, most of them have come here to tell us that they have left me. <laughs> they have left our platform. <laughs> they have left us. I beg, if you have anything that you can donate, Biko, donate, be part of the movement be part of victory Bikunu. i know what i'm saying before i came here to tell you this uh remember some of you know just they laugh me say ah that boy is you know just a a joker he's just a comedian <laughs> our forming committee they are on ground they are watching everything so before i brought you this and told you, and, to, I, and I'm telling you, and I've told you, and I'm still going to tell you to donate through this paper right now. I, I've seen something. And our forming committee have concluded their investigations. And look at where we are busting out now. 23rd, oh, government of Buari. Oh, no one leave on Nam de Kanabi. Oh, no one leave, uh, uh, um, is he Ben or Woka? Wait be name. Benjamin, no one no no one leave. Oh, you people don't want to leave our brothers raided in Imo State and Ambara Ibunyabia. That you people have taken to Zaria, taken to Kaduna prisons. I've never seen where they took somebody from Kaduna prison to come and detain in uh, Imo State. So we can control them. But they know they do them. Only our own people, exclusive to Biafrans. You people will kidnap them and take them. Now they kidnapped Adhan Soka. Nobody has kidnapped any, uh, 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 um, uh, what did they call her? Any um, fool, any person. Nobody has kidnapped any house man. Nobody has kidnapped anybody. You people are intimidating us and it has to stop. Nigeria police, army. If you want to see Boko Haram, you will go fight them. But what they will deploy all of you to come to Biafra land and kill people. And Nigeria is still existing. And people are keeping quiet. Enough of that nonsense. If you have anything that you can donate, Biko, just for the sake of this, our struggle, create a PayPal account. It's very easy. Just create it. If you want to do transfer from it, you just impute this e Gmail 
and basta. It's done. Bikun. If they can kidnap Adhan Soka, who is now safe? Who is safe? I beg. Now they beg owner. Um, and here they say that about 3,071 IPOB members have been killed in 12 months. That is official. This is not the ones that they have been killing in secret. This is the one that they could record. At least 3,071 non-state actors, including Boko Haram fighters and members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra have been killed in the last 12 months. In Africa, Focus Research, research uh, firm, SBM Intel, has said. The firm, in a report released on Thursday titled Nigeria at War, Combatant Casualties, Quarter 4, 2020 to Quarter 3, 2021, also said a total of 985 security agents, including police officers, soldiers, custom officials, amongst others, were killed between October 2020 and September 2021. A security analyst at SBM Intel, Confidence MC Mark Harry, told The Punch on Thursday that the report on the killings was based on a number of gathering tools, including the Council on Foreign Relations, Nigerian Security Tracker, as well as SBM's own internal database of security incidents around the country. The firm gave a breakdown of the 985 security officers killed in the period under review as 642 military officers, 322 police officers, 11 officers of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, 5 custom officials, 2 DSS operatives, 2 immigration officers, and an officer with the Federal Road Safety Corps. It also gave a breakdown of the 3,686 total non-state actors killed as 1,989 bandits, 973 Boko Haram members, 290 cultists, 129 vigilantes, 100 IPOB members, 88 kidnappers, 9 militants, and 9 smugglers. SBM in the report said the up Sala conflict data program defines war as a, as a state-based conflict that reaches at least 1,000 battle-related deaths in specific calendar. The most known and influential definition was developed by David Singer and Melvin Small in the framework of the cor uh, correlates of war, which is COW, COW. And there is a project at Michigan University which has assembled statistical data on wars around the world since 1886. Do you now see it when they tell you that we are at war, that we are target? You see how many IPOB members that has been killed? This is the, the report they can just tip them with. Many, many thousands of IPOB members. None in fact, non-IPOB members, ordinary people have been killed by security agents in Biafra land and are across too. It also defines war as any violent conflict with at least 1,000 killed combatants in a year. Both definitions include, exclude genocide and sporadic massacre and make efforts to include only casualties that belong to organized parties, uh, the violence. We, with this in mind, we have looked at SBM's database of violent deaths in Nigeria in the period of quarter 4, 2020 to quarter 3, 2021. We excluded violent civilian death, as well as those of belligerent that could be, by whatever definition, classified as non-insurgent or non-terrorist. The filtering has given us a total of 966 soldiers and policemen killed in the period while 3,071 people belonging to either Boko Haram, IPOB, or various militant and bandit groups have been killed in that period. The offshoot of this is that we can only say that Nigeria is at war. They, this is their conclusion. They say that Nigeria is at war with itself. Onadan Yara. So, reminder. They are a seat at home on Sunday and Mondays. You know, it will start, it's a gradual process until it, 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 it comes into full force when 
uh, most uh, of our broadcasters, our social media brothers and sisters begins to get the message and also propagate it to our people. Okay, so that is it. There is all this, not every church is a, some churches are business centers. You see people doing miracles. Look at, look at miracle. Look at miracle. Just watch. What is your name? Mm -hmm. Number one. You number one. What is your name? Mm -hmm. I'm Zuko. Okay. Huh? Zuko. Mm -hmm. Zuko. The seven god. Mm -hmm. From where? Of the underworld. Mm -hmm. The okay. seven world. I've been in the world up to 14,000 years. 14,000? Who, do, who do you think you are? What? Okay, you have been on this set up to 14,000 years. Up to 14,000 years. Okay. All right, those are the demons that the church is uh, casting out, uh, are dealing with. You know, 14,000 years old demon. It is in a small demon. It is in a small demon. Sit at home day on Sunday and Monday. Bara gawa there. You want to go and see miracle? See miracle now. I'll see you guys on the next one. So if you want to make any donation, look at the link here. Because true paper for now. Thank you.